Hi everyone, uh, my name is Vincent Go and welcome to the third part of the tutorial about um, Terrain Maker uh, and more specifically about Mountain Painter. So this is the, the part 3 of this tutorial, so in case you didn't see the two previous one, I invite you to click on the link that should appear somewhere on the screen, I don't know where. Or uh, on the top right you should have a button that allows you to go directly to the playlist. Uh, so in the two first uh, videos we have defined uh, how to create uh, a painter that allows you basically to use an SVG map to paint mountain wherever you want. And then uh, we also define a shape that is a bit closer to mountain uh, because that's a bit the goal of this tutorial. Uh, in this one we are going, uh, it should be the last one about uh, how to tweak the shape of the mountain. Um, the next video should be about how to paint it, how to add the snow on it. Uh, it's not. I won't exactly define uh, how to make snow in the sense, uh, I don't want to get this exact texture, but more how to apply it on the, on the relief uh, in a believable way. So, if you have seen the two first one, you, you may have noticed that I removed some stuff that I did at the end um, because I had some artifacts uh, on the on the on the mountain that I didn't like. So I'm going to use another technique that I found. So in case you have seen here, I basically the mountain is just based on the shape is just based on one noise which is this one. Uh, I did it by purpose because uh, noise are quite costly to compute so I wanted to limit it, uh, the number but of course uh, at some point you you don't have uh, the control you want. So what, I, what you can do actually is to look a bit uh, what exactly is adding each, each, uh, each uh, noise or tiled noise so to do that, what I did, uh, what I'm going to try to find is where is the main shape and it should be something close to here because here, you know, when I do this, once again it shift and click yeah, here I would say that's what defines, if I look from far, the main shape of the mountain so this is the most important one the shapes after are of course really important but that's where it starts to to add some two sharp edges and uh, I could go here and diminish that but then you, you would lose a bit of, uh, of the, the fractal effect so what you can do here actually is um, w using another noise and for this I will use the cloud and we are I'm going to the cloud one and I will do a small trick which is actually what we can do is if we, we, we are going to not to replace but to, to blend um, the new noise this one with the tiled one here so how to do that um, so what I'm, I'm going to put that here first at the end of the chain and then what I'm going to do is going here and basically what I will do, I will say, okay let's use a blend modifier here and we are going to test, I'm going to test with you so I plug it here, I plug it here and here I change just that here and you have something which is of course not good because I have to change the blend mod, blending mode here but if I put to overlay, see, I get something really interesting, uh, really I have some shapes which are way more organic because actually what it does, it really add the blend on each of these nodes, so it works quite well and directly I have a mountain which is way more believable. Um, adding this noise alone because what we could have done also is to say okay you know what I'm going to add j just only this this one but you see that's not what we want I, at least that's not what I want so it could interest in some case but blending both both of them is very interesting because you still ga get the the peaks but this time they are blend with uh, with the this noise so 
so I'm quite satisfied with that. Now what we want to do is, um, as you see, the, the mountain is really raw, but from top to bottom, and generally that's that's something you want to get some control on, because you you, you don't want that. You generally at the bottom it will be more smoothy, smoothier. So in order to do that, I'm going to go here. I will start. We are going to use this row shape and we're going to play a bit with it. So as I say the the erosion generally will act first in two parts. First at the bottom because all the water goes at the bottom so it goes larger and larger and second it will uh, affect uh, the peaks first. Also all the parts that are a bit uh, outside. So what we need uh, to do first is uh, to go with the curvature smooth which is a uh, derivative from the curvature but smoother you get it you get the point and you need a normal so what we're going to do is to create a normal use a normal node uh, I did a space and in general it works I'm going to push a bit the value to get some more interesting results and I'm going to plug it here and here you have something like that uh, so what we're going to do with that is put a lever just to make sure we spread it uh, properly and we do an auto lever so you get something more contrasty maybe uh, it could be even more interesting to have um, uh, an auto lever so you, you are sure that uh, it works in uh, whatever the change you make here but just for now we're going to do it this way so how can we use that so first in order to see exactly where it affects. We are going to right now to create an output, a diffuse output. We didn't use one before because we wanted to focus on um, on the, the 8 map, but here for just to see we are going to do that. So I applied it, but you have to do right click, view 3D output. And here you start to see where where the, the, sangha, the things are occurring. So it takes all the peaks here and all the small one here. So we are going what we'll do we will tweak it a bit and we'll use it as a mask. So first what I want to do is invert it. Because actually uh, do we want to invert it by the way? No. Sorry, we don't want to invert it. But what we are going to do is to blend it with actually the height. Because as we say the um, the higher uh, uh, the height is the less the the erosion will be apparent. So, so let's clean it a bit. So I do this and this. So we know this is our curvature map. We have our height map. So I'm going to use the blend again. So I'm going to blend this with the <laughs> with the have some doubts so I'm going to put a level and we'll see that I don't want like that okay so here what we will do is uh, just let me think about that actually we are going to plug it directly so we will tweak basically we want to make a mask that will keep the peaks at the bottom and uh, also the the value, but remove at the at the top. So here, if I go here, actually I have to invert it. So we are sure this is the lower height that has have the higher values. And now here I will use a blend uh, add sub if I'm not wrong. Yeah. And here I have to change also the do an auto lever. Okay, so that's something exactly that what I want. Uh, so basically, you see that the higher you are, and the lower the the mask will affect. And still, when you get lower, uh, lower, you see that it's really white where the the the, the peaks are. So that's exactly what we want. Uh, what we will just add is a lever, um, a lever, yes, just to get some control because for sure we, w we won't have the perfect value directly. So you get the point. So actually, this with this, this, and this, we get a mask. So 
what we'll do now is make a blurred version of the heat map so as we want to keep details we're going to do a blur HQ we are going to put to three maybe so far it's too much but we're going to tweak it and now with the blend node we are going as we say we say that the white will be blurred so we put the blurred value at the top the regular height map at the bottom we plug it uh, we just move all this stuff here took shift and here we go so here as you see it's a bit too much so first what we're going to do is adjust the level so we make sure that the black no the other way the, it's quite you see uh, at the same time you see exactly what happens here okay so it seems to be fine so I'm right now I'm going to put a uniform color because if not we're going to be a bit lost and it will be hard to see what we want to do so we okay so we have it right now it's quite fine so just to give you an idea and we, you you even have the control with that that's something that you will, you will expose at the end because you can decide okay do I want my mountain to be really rough or not so you have a first control here and you have a second control here where you can define how smooth the mountain here if you put too much you see everything is smooth so of course you don't want that but after you can find a, a nice value in something that that makes sense for you maybe you don't want everything to be so you can same thing if you push here it will be like a once again it's just playing with the value but once again in your mask the more your mask is uh, white the more it will smooth up the final result so uh, let's give us a nice uh, nice really nice shape after there is some other ways to play um, uh, for example, I've been asked if you can add some rocks and, uh, on a cliff. Um, in order to do that, what you can do is once again use a normal map. And uh, either you can separate actually the... You can separate the levels to make sure... Um, I'm going to... How can we do that? Let me check. Actually, you can use the face normal. Face, facing normal, this one. So, just to unplug it. And actually, uh, maybe you want rocks in position where it's darker. So what you can do, for example, here it's a bit. There is no, yeah. So here, for example, what you can do is first put a blur, a blur node, because it's a bit too rough. Like this, of course, is too much, but you can have something like that. And you know that the darker place will be where you may want, uh, you may want some. Uh, uh, some rocks um, and maybe you want them at the top as well so for example what you can do is to say okay I have that I will invert it so this time I will use the invert node um, invert grayscale you do this way so you have this that's all the possible places to to put uh, to put rocks but as I say maybe we want them a bit more at the top so I will once again use the 8 map here and do a blend so here you take like this and you use the 8 map so the higher once again I will put a level because you see it's a bit uh, I may want to be and this way let's yeah, here I push a bit the white part, and here I don't want multiply, I don't want copy, I want something like multiply. So maybe that could be some interesting ways, and then after you can come either by making a rock uh, yourself, or but the, you just use this as a mask. As I say, in order to get that, the idea is to say, okay, where uh, the cliff rock uh, would be, uh, would be where the the, the work is the more vertical so you can do it just by using normal with facing normal and then 
you use that. Uh, in my example, I don't really want to use it. Um, so for this video, um, which 15 minutes, it's fine. So I think you have quite a nice, uh, a nice mountain right now, a shape which is believable. Um, after, once again, I invite you to 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 kit for you. Here I use this mask maybe you will find another one interesting you can even add another one if you want more grainy mountain uh, so, so this is up to you I, i'm just going to clean a bit this because it was just one exam example the, and here what i am going to call this um, erosion it's an easy erosion it's not uh, physically accurate but it's uh, um, convincing enough to work for what you want to do so a small frame here, yeah. space, frame, erosion. Once again, don't forget to to comment uh, what you are doing because after a while, if you open your graph two months later, you don't know what what you were doing. So that's it for this one. Uh, in the next video, what I will do is to explain how to, to place the snow uh, on the mountain and how to place actually some texture depending on, uh, of some uh, parameters that you want. Maybe snow, grass and uh, some, uh, some sand. So that's it. Uh, I hope you like this video and see you in the next one.